Hey guys, it's me, Talia Arisa Gibson. You can call me Tag for short, and welcome to my channel. Ooh, no, ooh, no, be, ooh, be one, 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 like, comment, subscribe. Today, guys, it is Juneteenth. Yes, June 19th. A very important day in history, and we are celebrating with a little bit of crab and corn and boiled egg. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna say a prayer and we'll get right into it. Dear God, thank you for this food that I'm about to eat. Thank you for this day. I ask you to be with my viewers. Keep them happy, healthy, and safe. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't get additional dipping sauce and I'm trying to keep it light and not have too much butter. So um, what I have on it is their juicy, special uh, but it basically has cajun butter um lemon pepper and garlic butter all together seasoning the crab legs the eggs and the corn and so instead of having something to dip in i'm just gonna keep it how it is i have a good tall glass of water over here and i'm ready to dig in all right y'all so i'm gonna get right in here because i'm starving So hungry. I um only ate or drank a smoothie. Huh? The one thing that I do wish I had is some lemon. I should have got some. So how are you guys doing? Happy Juneteenth. What are you all doing today? So I think it's super cool. There's some companies who are starting to give the Monday off on Juneteenth weekend. I know um, someone posted that Allstate Company was one of them. So that's cool that people are observing it as they should. You know, history is what it is. It is what it is. You can't go back and change it. But the worst thing that you can do is deny that it happened. I feel like um, denial just stunts growth. Like, how can you change and be better in your future if you don't accept the truth of the past and what happened? And people want to say, you know, you guys need to get over it. That was years and years ago. But there's so much that still goes on. So much. But I'm going to show a quick video from WFAA, a local news station about Juneteenth, just to give you a little insight if you aren't aware of what it is. I will put their link down below in the description box to give them credit. Um, and if you want to rewatch it or share it, you'll be able to get that link from there. So here we go. After four bloody years, the Union defeated the Confederacy to win the Civil War and abolish slavery in April 1865. There were nearly four million slaves in the U.S. at that time. Union armies began marching through the southern states, freeing thousands of slaves each day. The news took months to reach Texas, the westernmost state in the Confederacy. On June 19, 1865, Major General Gordon Granger and 2,000 Union troops rode into Galveston, Texas and told slaves of their freedom. The people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This involves an absolute equality of personal rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves. 
Granger's word spread through Texas. All at once, slaves found out the war was over and they were free. Their joyous, spontaneous celebration gave birth to Juneteenth. Juneteenth, a combination of the words June and 19th, commemorates when the last enslaved people in the South were finally set free. Many slaves were met with violence, even death, when they tried to leave. Yet the promise of freedom extinguished fear and fueled generations of indestructible people. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little clip. As you can see, I was still enjoying my food. <laughs> It's a shame that um some companies would rather make products that say happy Juneteenth rather than just promote a black business. Or brand. Sometimes I don't think people are purposefully ignorant, but they don't take the time to get insight from the right people before they act sometimes, before they make decisions. I don't think people always mean harm, but ignorance can be harmful. And that's what we all have to understand. So we just gotta do better. I know. In my hometown in Hobbs, New Mexico, we grew up um, celebrating Juneteenth. We always had um, the NAACP, always had um, Juneteenth celebrations in the park. I remember going to when I was young and um, it's because a lot of the African-American community in my hometown have roots in Texas. So, it was interesting to find out that some people didn't know anything about Juneteenth. Now I will say, when I was young, I didn't really know too much about the history of it. And it's not that I didn't care, it's just that I was young and I wasn't concerned about that. It was just about like having fun in the park and eating and playing games. Even though they always had things telling about the history, I just remember not really being attentive to the history. And when I got older, I wanted to know more about it. You know, we're much more privileged than our ancestors were. And I know that there's still a lot that needs to change, but I mean, just the fact that I can live on my own, I can drive around, And for the most part, pretty be pretty safe. But 
Like, we have come a long way, but there's still a ways to go. But hate is not something that you're born with. It's taught. I saw an image on uh, Facebook. It had a child and the top of the, it was like a outline of a child and the top of the head was open and there was a bottle that was pouring hate into it. And it was just showing that hate is not something that we're born with, it's taught. And one of the things that I think will be helpful is to embrace differences. Instead of saying, we're all the same. We all bleed the same blood. Yeah, our blood is the same color. Yeah, but we're not all the same. I have brown skin. I'm African-American. I'm a black woman. If you are someone with brown skin, uh, whatever your skin tone might be. That's a part of who you are. So I don't really like, I don't really like when people say, I don't see color. Cause it's not so much that you shouldn't see color you should see because that's a, that's a part of noticing who I am but what you shouldn't do is hate me because of it treat me differently because of it that's the difference put me down because of it I want you to see it I want you to see that I'm a black woman but don't treat me different because of it Sometimes people, I, I think they feel like they need to say, I don't see color. No, you see it. You have eyes. <laughs> I see that you're white. I see that you are Mexican. I see that you are Chinese. I see that you are South African. I see that you're whatever it is. <laughs> I want you to tell me about yourself. Like, that's a part of me learning and growing. Like, we have to be open to learning about others and the differences. Those are the things that make us who we are. I don't want to be the same as everybody else. Like, God made me who I am for a reason. I just hate that people have a problem with it, you know? Another thing, I know that sometimes people don't understand how, why black people get to say I'm black and I'm proud and things like that. And they, they try to say things like, well, if I say I'm white and I'm proud, people are going to call me a racist. But the difference is this country was founded with enslaved people and when i say founded taken over <laughs> and enslaved people were brought here i was watching or reading an article and the guy was saying stop calling them slaves they were enslaved but they're not slaves. When you call them slaves, you're saying that that's who they were. And that's not who they were. They were enslaved. It was something that was done to them.
to be here living in the state of Texas. is even more like, wow, there were people who were enslaved and didn't know that they were free. And of course, we all know that it's not just like things just magically got better because of June 19th, but it was a step. And you have to take steps to get where you're going. And those steps got us here to where we are, where I can make this video for you guys. <laughs> Shouldn't do that with my teeth. Ooh. That's what we need to hold on to. Well guys, I am done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy June team to all of you. Let us not forget where we have come from, but let us look forward to a better and brighter future and continue to work toward it. Cheers to you. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post. Until next time, bye! Like, comment, subscribe.